We are in the ABC 7 Alert Center. We are following that breaking news in the Northeast. A three-car fiery crash on the intersection of Sean Haggerty and US 54. El Paso fire officials are telling us they had to cut someone out of this vehicle. They have rushed him to the hospital. They have life-threatening injuries. That person is clinging to their life right now. That's right. We've confirmed that that person, like Dylan mentioned, has life-threatening injuries. But Brianna Bett has actually met someone on scene who says that he pulled a person out of a car. You could see one of those white vehicles involved in the crash. And I believe Brianna is standing by with that live interview. Brianna, are you there? Kate, Dylan, yes, I'm here with David Dorsey, who says that he saw the accident, uh, the crash occur. David, can you tell me a little bit about what you saw and, and kind of what you did? Yes, ma'am. I, I witnessed two vehicles collide, and they were up in the air. One, the blue car, stopped at the fire hydrant, and the Tesla is being towed right now, rested right there and was on fire. I waited about three seconds, and I went in with one of my battle buddies and went and extracted the guy out. And then from there, we went to the blue car and tried to get him, but there wasn't much we could do. And what were you doing during this time? I was pumping gas and, and just looking his general direction. Were you happy that you were here at this time? Oh, yes, ma'am. It was. I'm glad that I could get to his car and, and get him out of it very quickly. Well, thank you so much, D Mr. Dorsey. I really appreciate that. And, of course, as you know, the investigation is still ongoing. We'll be sure to keep you updated on air and online at KVIA.com. For now, reporting live in Northeast El Paso, Brianna Perez, CBC7. Thank you, Brianna. Yes, um, El Paso fire dispatchers have confirmed that one person was critically injured in the mm -hmm. crash. We have not learned of the condition of the other right. victims. They have not expressed to us that there are other victims, so we're mm -hmm. working to learn more. I'm glad to hear that. The person was there, though, to help out those other two people in that car.